and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we are building a rather big family house, I would say. It's built in a 40 by 30 in Newcrest. It's built on the only 40 by 30 on the right side of the map, so the row of houses, the row of lots. I did get some suggestions for what I could do with these lots for my save file, but I've already started building here before. I built a bungalow for this area before I went to Denmark, so before Christmas. So I've already decided like what kind of vibe I want to go for for these houses. I want them to be very bright, very um, kind of like a little bit white and light gray on the exterior. I want them to look cute as well. So that's kind of the vibe we're going for for these houses. So I appreciate the suggestions, but we've already started and I can't turn them into townhouses, for example. But I really do appreciate the suggestions, so thank you guys for those. But today we're building on the 40 by 30 in this area and this house took me way too long compared to what it looks like. I don't understand how it ended up taking me six hours to build. I just, I don't know, time just kind of flew by. I have no idea what happened, but it took me six hours to do. So that was a little bit of a surprise afterwards. Um, it's for two parents, one teen, one kid, and two toddlers. So it's a rather big family house. They do have a lot of space on the bottom floor, but I could fit in a whole lot of bedrooms on the upper floor because it's actually quite Quite an up, like quite a big upper floor we got to deal with today. The floor plan in itself took me way too long. I changed it over and over and over. I have not included that because it was like sped up to seven. It was three minutes of just footage of me trying to figure out what to do with the floor plan. Not very exciting to watch, so I decided to cut that out. Sorry about that for those of you who want to see the floor plan, but I just couldn't fit it in. The video is already really, really long. So this house was inspired by a house that I saw on Pinterest. However, I will say that it really does not look anything like it anymore. I changed it up quite a lot. I added some pieces to it. I moved some pieces around as well so it really doesn't look like it anymore but it did help me get started with this house when I saw the picture on Pinterest I thought this looks perfect for this area in Newcrest like if it's the bungalow that I already built perfectly but then when I built like the whole facade of it I just kind of looked at it and it just it just looked kind of boring so I decided to spice it up a little bit <laughs> I added a little bit to it I changed the windows because I, I was dealing with the, the base game windows and I couldn't find any windows that sort of fit the shape of the house and I'm not a big fan of the base game windows as it is. I think when you use those compared to or when you use those with some of the other windows that we have now they just kind of look old. You know what like they just kind of it's the texture on them the whole shape of the windows they don't they need an update or something like that and also the color scheme of them definitely needs an update as well so I decided to scrap the base game windows and we end up going for these kind of windows that you can see me use right now that are from get to work and then I pair them with some of the windows that we got from parenthood which are a little bit different compared to all other windows. I don't fully know what kind of style they are. Are they contemporary or what are they? Not entirely sure about that. And then we also pair them with some windows from Cats and Dogs along with the uh, those open windows. I don't fully know what those are. They kind of look like archways but with fencing but I don't fully know what to call those kind of windows. I was talking about them in my last speed build as well I think. I'm not entirely sure if it was the last one but I was talking about them in some other speed build as well. Did here recently and I still don't know what you kind of what you call those kind of archways with fencing windows situation so we're using those as well from cats and dogs and that's when I realized that basically I could just use the windows from cats and dogs along with also the front door right here I tried out the get famous one first because it looked so majestic <laughs> but it just did not fit in so I decided to scrap that and go for the cats and dogs door instead so yeah, I also really wanted this house to be white, like completely white to start out with. Maybe with a little bit of light gray as well. I think I put some light gray brick in there, but then I just, it was a little bit too bland. I don't know, I have a hard time, whatever I want to build a white house, like a fully white house, it just kind of... It looks a little bit too boring to me, so I end up changing it up anyways, and it's the same kind of situation this time around. I really wanted it to be a fully white house, and then with either one of the pink roofings or roof textures or the black one as I'm using right now, 
but um, I just it just looked bland so I decided to change it so we're adding some kind of like a medium brown and also a darker gray and then some white so it looks really nice in the end and the color scheme on the interior is definitely inspired by the color scheme on the exterior by the way I really love the color scheme on the interior I just I think I'm a new fan of it I just really like how it looks so I hope you guys like that once we get to it I've been wanting to use that color scheme for quite a while but I just haven't ever I don't know if it's not dare to I just haven't ever taken the time to do it or something but we're using a lot of like medium brown on the interior mixed with some white which looks really nice in my opinion and then we we'll put just pops of green in here and there because I did use quite a lot of plants on the interior it's a modern kind of vibe we're going for a contemporary kind of vibe I should say so there's a lot of plants around as well and I thought it would be nice to kind of use Maybe some green uh, curtains or rugs to kind of go with the plants as well so they didn't stick out too much. So that's the kind of color scheme we're going for for the interior. But it definitely matches the exterior very well in my opinion. But I'm going to let you judge it once we get to the interior. For now we're still dealing with the exterior because I kept changing it over and over and over. So it ended up taking me so long to do. I don't know where time went. It just kind of... I was just sitting here chilling and it just kind of happened <laughs> six hours I, I would look at this house and think this took maybe like four six hours it's a little bit steep I don't know honestly I don't know how it took that long to build I just I don't know we're also using the pillars from get famous as accents you guys know I like to frame up the kind of like the shape of the house with pillars I often do that I use either ones from get together that are very simple then I use these ones that kind of look like the get together ones they're also really simple they're just a little bit thicker and I feel like they have a slight texture to them whereas the get together ones don't they're very solid sometimes I have also used some other ones from get together when I build like Tudor houses or cottages I like to use some of the other ones that are a little bit more rustic they have a little bit more shape to them as well plus they come in a really nice brown and I've also used the ones from Vampire Game Pack but today we're using the ones from get to get no not get together get famous there are way too many get expansion packs I'm just saying <laughs> I think the wallpaper that I used on the house is from I think the brick is from Vampire Game Pack and then we got the brown wooden panels that are from cats and dogs and then the other two should be I think because there's a brick that's kind of, it's not fully a brick, it's like brick that's painted on a little bit or something. I don't fully know how to explain that. But I think it's base game and the other one, the other white that I'm also using should also be base game. But I'm a really big fan of that brick from Vampire Game Pack. I just love it. I love that it's so detailed. I wish that it came in a fully grey swatch though. Because it's, it's like this grey that I'm using right here, which is the darker grey. It has a little bit of brown in it. So I used it for this one because it goes well with the brown wooden panels that I've used but normally I would really like for that one to just be like solid gray like just have no no hints of brown in it whatsoever but I think it's because you know with a vampire game pack it also comes in like red which is you know very very vampire-esque <laughs> kind of color so yeah I think it's something to do with that but I don't think I've ever used this color scheme for the exterior of the house before so that was fun to do for a change but um yeah let me know how you guys are doing by the way it's Saturday today so I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend or at least your evening off if you still have to work over the weekend there are some grown-ups that still have to go to work over the weekend I know the feeling well I know how the feeling of having to work I don't go to work but I still work that doesn't make any sense but I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend regardless and let me know if you're doing anything special or just let me know if you're just at home and chilling and sleeping and eating and playing the sims sounds like a freaking good weekend to me <laughs> I'm currently in Edinburgh with my boyfriend I have no idea what we're doing right now I haven't talked about it in some of my other speed builds and also my renovation uh, Wednesday I don't know what we're doing just just yet but I will figure it out once we once we get there but um, hopefully it's something good <laughs> but yeah so that's what I am doing I will keep you guys updated in uh, some of the other videos or in next week's videos or maybe on Instagram or something but um, yeah I hope you guys are doing great and that you're enjoying your weekend I would also really like to say thank you to everyone who wrote happy birthday in my Wednesday video because I mentioned in that video that my 
birthday was Thursday, so I got a lot of happy birthday or early happy birthday messages slash comments in that video. So thank you to everyone who wrote. Thank you so, so much. You are very sweet to me. I have not yet had the chance to check Thursday's video's comments because this is pre-recorded. It's currently Thursday, <laughs> so I just haven't had the chance. But in case anybody wrote anything, thank you so freaking much. You're all so, so awesome and so nice to me. And also, I think... Either we're close to 37,000 right now or we've hit 7,000, which is pretty freaking awesome too. So yeah, that's uh, pretty, pretty great. <laughs> so you guys know that I like to play with ponds in my backyards or my front yards, especially in front yards these days because it's kind of taking up a lot of space in the backyard. But I don't know why I turned that one into a pool. I just... I don't know, I thought it would be funky if they could swim in it or something. Also, it was not meant to be heart-shaped, but it is a little bit heart-shaped, so that's kind of, it's a little, it's a little bit cute, but it was totally not intentional, by the way, so it's just, just thought I'd point that out. I didn't really know what to do with the landscaping here at the front of the house, because the house itself is just such a weird shape to me. <laughs> I do like how it looks, the, the house itself, but it was definitely difficult to do the landscaping for it because it is a little bit of a weird house shape overall, in my opinion at least. So I was dealing a little bit with that, but I just ended up going for very basic uh, kind of landscaping. So we're putting a lot of plants in front of the house and then framing them up, them up with some rocks as well. Just like we did with the pond here. So they're kind of framed up. I just didn't know if I wanted to do that right now, but I go back and do it in just a little bit. So I fix the terrain paint as well well but I think I've included quite a lot of the terrain or not the terrain paint but the landscaping in this video by the way because I know that some of you really like to just see plants being placed down I totally get it <laughs> it's very relaxing it's also very re relaxing to do in the game but um, for you guys I did include quite a lot of the landscaping so and here is my desperate try to show you guys just a little bit of the floor planning it just took me way too long I've already explained this but the floor planning just took me too long to include it in the video and I'm sorry for that. I know that a lot of you have been requesting that I keep the floor planning in the video but it just it took me so long. It sped up. It was two and a half to three minutes so it was a little bit too long for my liking and I decided to cut it out. Hopefully it's okay with you guys. Hopefully you understand but um, yeah I don't know why it's just it was so confusing. I think it's because of the house shape. It just kind of didn't really feel natural some places plus then we had this like extra little square over here as you can see with the open archways with the fencing that I still don't know what I called <laughs> but because of that little square there weren't enough windows in this area of the house to split it up because then you'd have a whole room without windows and that's just not cool in my opinion I like there to be some windows so you get natural light in you know so it took me quite a while to figure that out in itself and then we had the upstairs as well which You'll see when we get there, there's a long corridor. It does look natural though, I would say. To me at least it looks natural, so it doesn't look like I've just placed a long corridor there because I didn't know how else to get to the rooms. But it definitely, um, it took me some, some tries to get to that conclusion. So yeah, I hope you guys understand that there is no showing up the floor plane this time. Hopefully there'll be, that, be one next time. I actually think that in the apartment build tomorrow, I will be showing you guys the floor plane as well. I really like how that floor plane turned out. I've already talked about this in Thursday's video, but I really like how the overall apartment turned out as well. So hopefully you guys will like that one too. I won't say what the theme is just yet but it's something I haven't done before, so super excited to share that with you guys. It's not like anything special, but just like color-wise, I haven't done it before, so, and I've been wanting to do an apartment like that for months and months, so yeah. But anyways, this house. So this is the color scheme that we're going for. It's this kind of medium brown right here. I don't know, it's kind of like, because it's not a warm brown, it's more like a cool tone brown a little bit, and then we mix it with some white, because I like how that looks. It looks very soft and like relaxing to me and also a little bit of green like I talked about before because we have a lot of plants in this house. I know the cabinets and also the counters right here are not modern but I did go for kind of like a modern contemporary feel to the rest of the build so those counters do stick out a little bit but they had the right colors. They had the colors that I needed for this house <laughs> so I decided to stick with them anyways. Also by the way I just want to point it out but I took these small, they're from Cool Kitchen, they're these small boxes that are supposed to be like salt and pepper shakers I think 
if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. I sized them up so they kind of look like cereal boxes, <laughs> and then I put them on the shelves. You saw it just before. I know, it's just like a little detail, but I thought it was kind of funny when I sized them up and they kind of look like cereal boxes. I don't like cereal boxes, but like you have these plastic containers and some people will empty their cereal boxes or whatever they have like some will have a flower in them as well I think my mom has some with pasta in them too so they just kind of look like there would be food containers so I just thought that was a funny little detail and basically I just wanted to point it out for you guys despite this house being quite big and also modern contemporary with the interior I did actually clutter it up quite a lot I took my time cluttering up everything maybe that's why it took me took me six hours to build this house now that I think about it because there's a lot going on every single bookcase I have used I mostly use the ones from seasons they have these like big gaps in them that you just need to fill out with stuff otherwise they just look empty like you would have this one shelf on the or three shelves actually on the bookcase and they'll be empty and it just bothers me a little bit so I have to fill them out with something I often put one of the base game mirrors there because when you lift it up with the 9 key it just fits perfectly like height wise it just fits perfectly it looks like it's resting on the shelf so I do that quite a lot but I've used that bookcase a lot around this house so I've cluttered it up every single time <laughs> there's a lot of clutter around this house but you guys know that I'm kind of going through this kind of crazy clutter phase right now so I just clutter up everything like crazy there's a lot of mess around this house there's a lot of stuff they have a lot of yeah just stuff lying around well not lying around but like placed around on tables and stuff but I'm having so much fun with clutter these days it's like I found a I have a newfound love for clutter apparently <laughs> or something like that so I went a little bit crazy there's quite a lot of stuff compared to it being a more contemporary kind of house I will say it's like it's not like super contemporary, but it definitely has a lot of contemporary elements to the interior. I did try to keep it mainly contemporary. It does have a little bit of traditional here and there, but mainly contemporary. Also, I ended up totally scrapping the idea of putting a fireplace here. I could not figure out what to do. So of course we end up playing with cabinets once again. <laughs> and I kind of make this entertainment unit right here. I use the cabinets from Body, I think they're from if I'm not mistaken yeah these ones they have a nice brown swatch that matches the brown behind um, the wallpaper right now which is also from Spade if I'm not mistaken so I thought that kind of that color swatch would just be perfect plus they are contemporary so it kind of fits the rest of the house as well and we turn it into this kind of entertainment unit right here the TV is levitating just a tiny tiny bit but unless you zoom in you won't actually notice i did try to use the red shelf to fix that but it just it didn't want to snap onto it so unfortunately i couldn't the small tv does do that but the big tv right there doesn't which is a little bit of a shame so but it's fine also if you were wondering what that red shelf was because i did get a lot of comments like what is that red block you keep using or someone said which is which i found quite funny i'm so happy you explained what that red shelf is because i was like girl why do you keep trying to fit that red shelf in like why do you keep trying to make that work but it's basically this kind of it's a cc item that helps you place clutter around the build so you can place it on top of fridges for example or microwaves or ottomans or I don't know, st chairs, I guess, everything. You just raise the shelf to the height that you want this clutter to be in. You place the clutter on the shelf and then you take the clutter off the shelf and it'll be stuck at that height. So you can just place it around the house wherever you want to. It's very handy and I wish I started using it sooner because it's so easy to place clutter with it. So yeah, definitely recommending that. I will link it in the description down below if you are interested in downloading it. It'll be linked down there. I've linked it for the past like four or five videos, I think. But um, yeah, and I've also seen other speed builders use it by now, so that's quite cool. But um, yeah, definitely a very handy item if you are into clutter. Also, I really wish we had this couch in a three slot version. I don't know. I don't understand why we only have it with a two slot version, like so only two sims can sit in it. It annoys me just a little bit because then you have to combine it with one of the chairs to make it fit. 
I don't know. It really annoys me. It really bugged me, but I really wanted to use this uh, this couch because first of all, it fits the whole vibe of the house perfectly. It also has the right swatch. So I don't know. It just really annoys me. I just thought I would say that. I really wish it came in a three person version rather than just two person version or two sim version, I should probably say instead. But unfortunately it does not. So this is the only bathroom that I'm showing you guys as well. It's quite big compared to the other ones as well. The other ones are, they all have their own bathrooms on the top floor. So we got four different bathrooms up there and they're all three by three, so quite small. This one is a little bit different. I was trying to do something fancy with it because my new year's resolution is I need to care about bathrooms because I just don't. <laughs> so I'm trying my best to do something more fancy with my bathrooms these days. So I try to add some shape to this room and also try to paint a little bit differently than I normally would. We're using the cabinets again because they just fit, the per like, fit perfectly above the mirror in here as well. And I like how this bathroom turned out. I think it looks different from my other bathrooms that all look the same. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was happy with how that turned out. Also, by the way, I went to, okay, so I went to Denmark over Christmas which is a while ago by now I know but while I was in Denmark I actually gathered just a little bit of inspiration because some of you guys have been requesting if I could build a house inspired by a Scandinavian house Scandinavian houses don't necessarily look that much alike I would say at least not from the areas that I've been to in Sweden and Norway they don't look like Danish houses but I did gather some inspiration from some houses that I saw in Copenhagen so I will be building a house inspired by a Danish house and it'll be in this area of Newcrest and I'm so excited to actually build something that reminds me of home <laughs> I don't know I just think it will turn out very cute I think so um super excited about that I just thought I would mention it because I know that some of you guys have been mentioning it as well and I still count on like I still want to do something inspired by either Norwegian or Swedish houses as well but it'll come up at some point not in the near future but it'll happen don't you don't you worry but there will be a Danish house coming up at least in the near future so I hope you guys are excited for that because I am anyways I forgot to talk or didn't forget forget to talk about the library study area I just kind of talked over it sorry about that but it's very simple down there they have a drawing table for the kid they also have a chess table I think there's a chess table in the living room as well and they have a computer in there as, as well I don't remember if I put any other computers in this house by the way I think the teen may have one if I'm not mistaken but I'm not entirely sure so don't quote me on it <laughs> or something um, but if not then you can just you know place a computer in one of the other rooms as well if that's what you need for your family you don't necessarily need that many computers I think but um yeah anyways also that magazine right there is from the debug catalog I have talked about it before but in case you haven't watched those videos and you want to know what that is basically you can type in a cheat by pressing Control shift c and then press bb or type bb full stop show hidden objects and show hidden objects have to be one word and then when you look around the catalog you kind of see there's there's some new items added to it so you get a lot of new items that you can choose from and build with but there's also the possibility of checking out the debug catalog so in the filter or in the search filter that you can see on the left side of the screen right now where there's a magnifying glass you type in debug and then a long menu depending on how many packs you have a long menu will show up or not a menu but a lot of new items that you wouldn't necessarily have seen before and noticed before turn up and you can get lost in the debug catalog I'm just warning you guys there's a lot of stuff in there like makeup stuff there is pencils glasses there's a lot of the drinks you can make as well I think <laughs> they're cupcakes <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in there and I found the magazine in there so I've used it a fair bit of times because I think it just looks nice like having a magazine lie on a coffee table or something like that like I put it on the ottoman in the parents room I know I've explained the debug catalog a couple of times but I often get questions about it so I thought I would just explain it once again for those of you who haven't watched my other builds and still want to know anyways then here we got the teens room and I did ask you guys when was it I think Sunday I did ask you guys in the voiceover for the apartment build what kind of teen rooms and also children's rooms you wanted to watch and you gave me a long list of different ones I could do so this one is more of a sporty teen we've moved on to the children's room right now but 
it was a sporty teen. She's a, she's a girl and she's totally into sports. I don't know what kind of sports though. <laughs> I think it's more like baseball. I think she's into baseball, but um, I'm not entirely sure about that one. I was also considering making her a dancer, but I think I'm leaning more towards like into baseball or something like that. Maybe softball or I don't know, something like that. She's really cool and I decided to put a lot of trophies around and a lot of posters inspired by sports as well. So in here we got the children's room or the child's room and and their room, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but their room is very very decorated with a lot of different animal items because this kid is an animal lover. Another suggestion from you guys. I don't know why I haven't done this one before because there are so many different like different items for children's rooms with like animals on it. <laughs> Just saying. Also the toys. You can get a cat, you can get a camel. I think it's camel, no, it's a horse, <laughs> it's not a camel. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Anyways, you can also take the teddy bear and size it down, or the cat plushie, or the dog plushie. There's also a rabbit one that you can also size down, and they'll look like small plushies. You can put those around. We have this little thing, money, bank thing that's a horse as well, I think. It's a little chubby horse, it's really cute. <laughs> so I put a lot of these animal-inspired inspired items around this room, so it kind of looks like they're just really, really into animals you know so I thought that would be super cute I also have another kids room tomorrow that I haven't done before like theme wise and I hope you guys like that one as well it's a little bit different too um, by the way you can't use that dresser but there is a mirror hanging above the dresser and you can literally do the same things in the mirror as you can with the dresser you can plan outfits try on outfits I think you, you can even do some more stuff with the mirror uh, compared to the dresser if I'm not mistaken so basically anything you would do with the dresser you can do with the mirror instead and that works perfectly fine I did play test that but it's because I put the dollhouse in front of the dresser that it's not working but I really wanted them to have a dollhouse because I didn't have any other place to put the dollhouse otherwise and the children need some uh, specific things to level up skills and stuff plus it's just a nice toy to have for them as well so the toddler room in here is a little bit different when it comes to the color scheme I just thought they they needed a little bit more color in here basically but I'm still sticking to more softer colors so I think it goes well with the rest of the house anyways it's just a tiny bit different and they have a lot of toys in here by the way like a lot even though the room is a little bit smaller it's a weird shape as well with this little area over here on the right side that sticks out a little bit I really wanted them to have a lot of toys and it's very decorated in here as well so we put some fairy lights in the windows the fairy lights by the way are from Parenthood if you are wondering and those postcards that I hung up there in the window they're from seasons as well I use them a lot I think they are so adorable I also use the fairy lights a lot but I love fairy lights <laughs> so there you go <laughs> everything has to be covered in fairy lights basically but um yeah I think that the rug stands out a little bit but if I recall correctly the green on the rug actually matches the green somewhere else in the room so it's not like the green is just suddenly out of place it just looks a little bit out of place from a distance at least but I thought I would just point that out to you guys so for the backyard I was struggling a little bit because we don't have a lot of space to work with and in the end everything is a little bit crammed together it's not my favorite backyard but I do feel like it fits the family overall so they end up having this gazebo that I am of course turning into a barbecue area <laughs> because I often do that especially with family homes all my family homes they just need an outdoors barbecue area because I love barbecues <laughs> so there you go um, but that ends up in the gazebo I do move the gazebo over to the other side of the backyard here and then I move the pool that I'm putting right here I put that in the middle and then I wanted there to be a basketball court because I thought it would be cute considering the teen is a sporty kind of girl I thought maybe she would be using the basketball court a little bit but the basketball court thing item that we got from City Living was just way too big as you can see right now. I cut a lot of it out because I just ended up not using the basketball thing at all so I ended up removing it and then I put down a greenhouse there instead. It was just too big. It didn't fit over there in the corner the way that I thought it would because the item was too big so unfortunately not this time around but I'm definitely gonna try to put a basketball court in some speed build soon because I think it's cute they have their own little 
poppy thing in the backyard. I don't know. Maybe it's like a rich person thing as well. I just feel like rich people, they often have basketball courts. <laughs> I don't know. Like big houses. You know, like those big houses that a lot of musicians have. They have like gigantic pools that are shaped in a weird way and then they have their own basketball court. So it's like a rich person thing. I just, yeah. They need to have a basketball court. I need to put a basketball court in a family home soon. Not inside, but outside, obviously. But anyways, they got their greenhouse right here and I just cluttered up or not cluttered up I put a lot of plants in there and they have basically everything so I put the flower arrangement table and also or flower arranging table and also the bee house over here as well and they have some pots so they can plant different things I hope they work I haven't actually play tested those so I'm sorry if they don't but hopefully they should work otherwise you just move a few things around and it should be completely fine in there and then I also put a kind of like a lounge area to the left of the greenhouse so I frame it up with some fencing and then I put some of the couches that are either from Backyard Stuff Pack or they're from Perfect Patio. I'm not entirely sure about that one. I think they may be from Backyard Stuff Pack, but I put those there so they can sit there and chill if they want to and look over the pool because there is no other place, unless you're sitting under the gazebo, there's no other place to look over the pool. So I just thought it would be nice to have a little bit of a seating area over there as well. Just sit there and enjoy. I think I hung some of the light bulb chains from Toddler Stuff Pack on to, like above it as well. Also, I did some funky patterns or not it's not really funky <laughs> but I tried to add some more pattern to the flooring on in the gazebo so by um, what you can do when you choose when you have a flooring or when you've already picked a flooring you just press either full stop or comma and the flooring will kind of rotate so you can rotate back and forth and do some kind of pattern with it it's it's fun to play around with if you're into that kind of stuff I just often forget to kind of play with it but you can definitely do that so um yeah and here's the little hangout area that I was talking about before but anyways guys we are getting to the end of this video so I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover now I hope you like this build you can download it off the gallery my ID is the Evelyn YT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or Evelyn YT and the name and the prize and lot size and how many sims there are room for how many bathrooms they have and so on is listed in the description down below or I have written it there as always when it comes to speed builds so definitely check that out if you are interested in this build and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one bye bye
heart in Oh, no need to beg pardon